Hello, this is the key for the 9.7 and 9.10 quiz on AP Classroom. All right, so question one says, which of the following equations best supports the possibility of, of, of obtaining electrical energy from such a cell? Okay, so um, one of these reactions needs to be flipped. So um, to get electrical energy, we want the voltage to be positive. So we're going to flip this aluminum reaction and make it a positive 2.31. All right, so looking at the, uh, the, the cell potentials, um, A and B represent that, where we're flipping that negative 2.31 to a positive value. All right, so that's the first equation. That's going to eliminate C and D, but we still have between A and B. Um, now the equation for delta G, this is the, um, there's several equations for delta G. Um, this one is negative NFE, where N is the number of moles of electrons that are being transferred in this reaction. So when we put these two reactions together, you have to make the number of electrons equal. So, um, because they need to cancel out. Well, this has three electrons, that has four. So to get the electrons to cancel out, we need we need to have 12 electrons on each side. So we'd be multiplying this reaction by four and this reaction by three. So we're going to have 12 electrons that are being transferred, and that's what that first number represents. So this is showing 12 electrons. This is only showing four. This isn't showing any of the uh, the units on, on this calculation. It's just showing the, the, uh, the values, the numbers. Um, F is Faraday's constant. Now these rounded off. They rounded off here to 96,500, but that's common between both of them. Um, and then the the last number, the 2.71, that's going to be the the voltage for the cell. So those are both the same. And then the, the number we're dividing by a thousand because when we do the the calculation for negative NFE, uh, we come up with the, the units of joules. So if we want it in kilojoules, we're just going to divide by a thousand. But the difference between these two is just the number of electrons that have to cancel out. So, so the answer is going to be letter A. All right, question number two, we have a galvanic cell. Um, the, the question, which of the above occurs for the following circumstance? Um, so the salt bridge is replaced by a platinum wire. So the salt bridge has to be some permeable substance that will allow uh, ions to be transferred. So in the lab that we did, we just used filter paper soaked in potassium nitrate. So it has to be something that will um, it will contain ions, positive and negative ions that can flow to either cell. So if you just replace it with a wire, now a wire can it can transfer electrons, but it's not going to transfer ions. So this is going to cause the voltage to become zero and remain at zero. So it's going to be letter C. Okay, according to the half reactions represented above, which of the following occurs in aqueous solutions under standard conditions? So for the, the reaction to occur, it's got to be thermodynamically favorable. So that means we have to have a positive voltage. So when we have one voltage, these are two half cells. When we have one that's positive and one that's negative, we need to flip the negative so that we're going to get a positive cell voltage between these two. Um, and we also have to cancel out the electrons, so we not only have to flip this reaction, we have to multiply it by a coefficient of 2 to cancel out the electrons. So the, the CR positive 2, it's going to be a reactant, it's going to be on the left side, and it has to have a coefficient of 2. So that's going to be letter B. It looks like the chromiums flipped and had coefficients of 2, well as the, the coppers. Um, don't have a coefficient, just one. So letter B is the answer. Alright, question number four. Uh, which of the following correctly compares the initial uh, voltage for the second cell to that of the first cell? So the difference between it says, um, let me back up here, it says for the construction of the second galvanic cell, which is not shown, only one modification was made. The copper electrode has doubled the mass of the copper electrode in the first cell. Okay, so the, the size and the mass of the electrodes doesn't affect the, the cell voltage. Only the, the change in the concentrations in the two cells will affect the voltage. But as long as the electrodes are there, the, the size of the electrodes does not matter. So we just want to find the answer where it says it's going to be the same. Um, the initial voltage 
for the second cell is the same as for the first cell because the overall chemical reaction that occurs in the cell does not change. So it's going to be letter D. Okay, according to the standard reduction potentials given above, what is the standard cell potential for the reaction below? Okay, so these are our two half reactions, and, and this is when we put the, the two together. So we are, are flipping the aluminum reaction. Um, we're keeping the, the silver reaction the same, but we're multiplying it by a coefficient of 3. So when we flip the aluminum reaction, um, that's going to turn into a positive 1.66 volts. Um, when you multiply through by an integer, that doesn't affect the voltage, so that's going to stay at 0.8. So it's going to be 1.66 plus 0.8, so that's going to be a positive 2.46 volts, letter D. Question number six. Okay, so which of the following is true for the decomposition of H2O2? Okay, now these, these are not really part of the question here. Um, we just have to look at this reaction. This is the decomposition of H2O2. So it has a positive voltage. That means it's going to be thermodynamically favorable. That means it's going to have a negative value for delta G. And if it's thermodynamically favorable, the, the value for K is going to be greater than 1. Uh, because the products are going to be favored at equilibrium. So we need a negative delta G and a K value greater than 1. So that's going to be letter C is the correct answer. Okay, number 7. Uh, we have another galvanic cell. So this says it's a spontaneous reaction. So we know we have a positive voltage. So which of the above occurs for the following circumstance. So we have a 50 milliliter sample of a two molar cadmium nitrate solution is added to the left beaker. All right, now the volume doesn't matter. The only thing you're concerned about here is the, the molarity. Standard conditions are one molar. So if we're going to increase the molarity of the cadmium, this is gonna cause the, the Q value to be greater than one and that's going to cause the, the voltage to decrease. Another way to think of it, you can, you can kind of think of it in terms of Le Chatelier's principle. If we're going to increase the, the product, it's going to shift away from it. So, so a shift left is going to decrease the voltage. It's still going to r remain above zero. It's still going to be positive, but it's going to be a lower voltage. So letter B, the voltage will decrease but remains above zero. Uh, question 8. So we have the observed voltage was found to be 1 volt instead of the standard, standard cell potential of 1.10 volts. Which of the following could correctly account for the observation? Uh, letter A, the copper electrode is larger than the zinc electrode, so the size of the electrodes doesn't affect the voltage, so it's not A. Uh, the, the zinc positive 2 electrolyte was zinc nitrate and the copper 2 electrolyte was copper sulfate. As long as you get the, the correct charge of the ions in the solution, we're fine. So, so that's okay. That won't affect things. Uh, letter C, the zinc solution was more concentrated than the copper 2 solution. So zinc, being, zinc positive 2 being a product, if that's more concentrated, that will make the Q value too large and it reduces the, the voltage. So letter C is going to be the correct answer. Uh, the volume doesn't matter. Um, the salt, the identity of the salt in the salt bridge doesn't matter. Um, so KCl would work as an electrolyte in the salt bridge. So as long as the salt bridge is there and contains positive and negative ions, that's good. So it's not letter E also. So letter C is the correct answer. Okay, question nine. All right, this is a question from section nine point ten. So it's a it's a type of stoichiometry calculation. So we have a current of 0 0.80 ampere that's supplied to the silver nitrate solution for 30 minutes. Um, we want to figure out which of the equations can be used to calculate the approximate mass of silver deposited on the object. So this little looks like a whatever that is, is that's where the silver is being deposited. It's coming from the silver that's in solution. So um, the, the calculation actually looks like this where we start off with the 30 minutes of time, um, convert it to seconds. This 0 0.80 coulombs per second, that's the amperage. That's the current. 
Um, this is Faraday's constant to convert it to moles of electrons. Um, the silver is a positive one ion, so it's going to be one mole of electrons per one mole of silver. It's a one to one ratio. And this 107.9, that's the molar mass of silver, and that's going to convert it into grams. So we don't have to come up with the final answer. We just need to show what the process is. Um, and, and our multiple choice possibilities, it doesn't show any of the units. It just shows what we do with the, the numbers to get there. So looking back at this, this solution, it's going to be 30 times 60 times 0.8 times 107.9, and we're only dividing by 96,485. So uh, that's going to be... Letter C is the correct answer. Okay, and the last one, we have a galvanic cell as a potential of 2.71 when the copper 2 and the magnesium positive 2 both have a concentration of 1 molar. So which of the following provides the best justification that the given conditions can be used to decrease the cell potential? So it has nothing to do with the the, the two solids, it's only about the, the, the two ions. So we need to have a greater concentration of magnesium ion than we do of the copper two ion to decrease the cell voltage. So the only one that shows that, if they're both lower but they're both the same, it's going to be the same, that the cell voltage sh should be the same. So that eliminates A and B. So we want more magnesium, so it's going to cause it to shift left make the Q value greater than 1, so that's going to be letter D. All right, that's all for that quiz. Have a good day.